I mean, that was a beatdown of the first degree. You know, give Seattle an awful lot of credit, right? They could have laid down and died. <laughs> gobble, gobble, everybody. They could have laid down and absolutely died in this game. They didn't. That is coaching. That is Seattle's culture. That is Pete Carroll. And I I seriously, I tip my cap to that. I do. Because there was as much of a reason to stop competing at halftime as a football team can actually have. And sometimes that happens in professional football. You can see it with your own two eyes when another team just outright stops competing, right? Just completely stops competing. But for... One special teams play on the first Seattle kick return of the game. This was one of the best starts that any Kyle Shanahan team I think has ever had in any game it's ever played. Like the 49ers came out and just skinned the Seahawks alive. It was 14 to three on the scoreboard early on, but it's basically 150 yards to zero in the first 17 minutes of the game. Um, Ambry Thomas then picks off a pass for an interception in like the 18th minute of the game. And even though the 49ers didn't score there, they pinned Seattle so far back with a perfectly placed punt at the two yard line. Seattle's got one first down across its first four drives of the afternoon, the evening, I guess I should say. And the 49ers, they punch in their first touchdown or, or I should say Christian McCaffrey's first there's a second rushing. I mean, at this point, it's hard to even count the McCaffrey touchdowns, but they punch in a, a McCaffrey touchdown and a twirling run on the goal line there. His legs just absolutely never stop. So it's now 21 to three. Like there might have been a time for Seattle to maybe do a little something. And even though they're not in this game at all, they're still technically in the game on the scoreboard, but that just was not going to be happening. And the Seahawks have one first down and had run 14 plays at one point in this football game and the 49ers get their special teams break of the season. They almost had a couple go against them big time. And we'll get to that in just a bit, but um, you had Charlie Werner just creating havoc. And I think he was part of the caused fumble that uh, Ronnie bell got credit for recovering. So you get a field goal before the half, thanks to that Seattle special teams blunder. And then all of a sudden it's a 21 point lead at halftime just whooped the Seahawks. I mean, molly whopped them for about 30 minutes of they're not doing anything at all you need to worry about level football. I mean, that's what that was out of the 49ers. The Seahawks had nothing going for them. Nothing. Nothing going for them in this game. And then the third quarter is all Seattle. They're not standing at the 50-yard line for these treats, are they? No, it doesn't look like they're on the field. Although I do got to jog that back because there is a snack certainly on the sideline. I don't believe that is a snack definitely right on the 50 yard line. 24 touches, 139 yards. No, they're not on the 50. They're not sitting on the logo. No football team's ever going to allow that ever again. But a little revenge for Turkey on the 50. Yeah, I mean, this goes down as certainly a little revenge for Turkey on the 50. But that third quarter is where you start to got you got you got to give Seattle some respect. You really do. Like there's a reason why this is the 49ers best rival. Because they just play hard. And they play hard for a coach who knows what he's doing. And he didn't have the horses to come out and beat the 49ers this week. I don't think Seattle two weeks from now will have the horses just show up to come and beat the 49ers. I don't think that that was just an issue of Geno Smith's elbow. At times, this was an overwhelming game. Debo, Debo overwhelmed in this game. Uh, Mooney Ward had a really good game. Uh, you saw a, a, a level of Christian McCaffrey that you just you can set your watch to it almost at this point. He's something else. And this was not the best game that Brock Purdy has played this year. When we talk about all that Brock Purdy has done this year, we're not going to bring this game up. We're not going to bring this game up. It's all said. It's all done. Let me see how it wrapped up. What's the final number here on Purdy? Purdy's night ends. He's 21 of 30 for 209 yards, a touchdown, and an interception, which was a pick six. It was not a well thrown ball to McCaffrey there, uh, but a little tip drill broke out in the best play basically the Seahawks had all night. And that was part of that 
hey, you know, the Seahawks aren't going away third quarter, that they get credit for having. Chris Collinsworth literally says out loud, Seattle needs a big defensive play right now, and then Jordan Brooks gets that tip drill interception. Purdy threw too high a McCaffrey, so it's a touchdown Seattle. And then you got the Seahawks, their defense getting right off the field after that. Um, Jackson Smith and Jigba has just th- this in- amazing one-hand catch. I mean, an incredible one-hand catch. That was really good. And it's just an awful lot of Seattle momentum, momentum, momentum. You got Mooney Ward going down in the game, and it looked like he might have gotten hurt. It looked like he just cramped up a little bit, which I guess is really good news. But then it's third and goal. Geno gets sacked, and it's the first good thing the 49ers got since coming out of that that halftime locker room. But it's an 11-point game. Eric Armstead and and, uh, Hargrave split the meal on that one. The 49ers are up 24 to 13, but they're punting the ball right back to Seattle in this moment, looking to get back into a game with a drive. It's third and eight, and the 49ers send the entire house. And you got Warner and Armstead and Bosa all getting to Geno at the exact same time, basically there in the fourth quarter. And I don't know, can you split a sack into thirds? Is that even possible? Will they allow that? Because it feels like that would have been a fair thing to do. I don't know how they're... I I, I tell you, one of the toughest jobs in football is splitting up sacks amongst the 49ers defensive line tonight because there was an awful lot of gang tackling on Geno Smith in this game. Um... 49ers, though, they get the ball back. Purdy throws that touchdown to Ayuk. That puts the 49ers up 18 points. And and that's basically it right there. You know, there was a sure there could still be something going on here, drive with Seattle, but not really. We all knew it. And they got to a fourth down and Nick Bosa and Fred Warner shut down Charbonnet. And that really was the ball game. 49ers, 31-13. And it sets up something special in Philadelphia next Sunday. 